For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another scheme for you guys today out of the Raiders. I asked you guys about a week ago what playbook you guys wanted me to move on to, and the Raiders got the most votes. I put up a, uh, you know, a thing on my community tab to let you guys vote. It got like a couple thousand votes, and the Raiders barely eked out the, the Ravens. So I'm working on the Raiders right now. I just dropped a full ebook, full breakdown on my Patreon, YouTube, uh, on my YouTube community section, all that stuff. Links in the description below. Uh, but without a doubt, this is definitely. I mean, I can see why it's one of the meta playbooks every year. It's got some of the best schemes in it year after year. And the offense I'm going to show you today is one that I guarantee you that nobody is on because I've never seen anybody run the formation that I'm going to run today. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of plays. But if you guys want to see a full scheme, as always, hit the like button limit on the comment section. Other than that, let's go get right into the video. The formation is the tight slots halfback week. I, I use the gun tight a lot, which is also in here. I put out a full breakdown of that. It's very similar as far as the fact that it has two receivers on each side close to the line. They're just in slightly different formation and it has a bunch of players in it. So I'm gonna show you guys one, which is to me one of the most broken plays in the game, and that's the four verticals. We're gonna start off with that. I'm gonna go ahead like I always do though. I'm gonna put my put the plays I'm gonna show today uh, in my audibles. I would, I would always have uh, a run play to start. The second play is the play I'm gonna start off this video with, which would be the four verticals, and then the mesh spot would definitely be one as well. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with Tampa 2 and then work our way back. Like I said, this is a really glitchy play. He doesn't even really need a lot of adjustments. I feel like they have an option route on the X side uh, because they really just don't want that play to be as broken as it is. So we're just going to put that play on a streak. That's all we really have to do. The B route's already on a streak. We can block our running back if we want. But the two wheel routes are going to have a lot of success when it comes to beating these defenses. We don't really have very good receivers out there doing this either. Other than, you know, we do have um, Darren Waller. But you can see how that's a really big play. It's gonna be a really big play on both sides. I can go to the I can go to Waller's side as well, and it's gonna be the exact same thing as cover twos just don't do a very good job of flipping their hips once these receivers run past them. So you got a very big cover two play on both sides of the field. But where this play really makes its uh, money is against cover three. So let's go and let's pick cover three. It's a really big play against cover three. I'm not sure if I have to motion this over, but once again, just having those inside guys on streaks is really all that matters. And this is gonna be a one play touchdown to both sides. Obviously, I'm gonna choose Henry Ruggs' this side more often than the other side, but we're gonna be able to hit a home run up this team on both sides with this play. So let's go and let's do that again. You can put these guys on fades too. I find that fades do a little bit of a better job um, as far as like avoiding, uh, look how gone that guy is. I'm mean, like, I said, he's not fast. I don't even know who that guy is. I'm pretty sure he was the uh, rookie last year out of Minnesota, but I don't even know. As you can see, he's just, he's not a fast receiver, but these, these plays are just getting ridiculously over the top when playing touchdowns. So right here, we'll do that B route once again. Like I said, as long as that bullet pass it outside. If you're on old gen consoles, you have to roll in the direction of the throw. A lot of times, I know a lot of people have been saying that these plays don't work on the older generation consoles, but as long as you roll out, you can you can make these plays work. It's the exact same thing you see right there. Once again, the cornerback just lets that guy get right over the top of him, even though he's not fast. So for people in the comment section that want to say like, oh, it only works because Henry Ruggs is so fast. No, it works on both sides. It's the exact same play, the exact same read. It's just these outside cornerbacks really react to these wheel routes in ways that they probably shouldn't. 
This play can also have a lot of success against cover four because once again, uh, these routes are gonna pull back. I mean, I'm not saying that they're gonna have one play touchdown results, but you could steal these wheel routes all game against these uh, coverages that you know basically play deep first. So it's like, I could just basically get this out here and just steal this underneath because they're gonna be following back the streaks. So that'll have the same success against cover three also. But like I said, if I could just t steal this all game and, and annoy someone in a cover four, I'm getting 10 to 15 every time I do this. And it does the exact same thing against cover three, which begs the question, what's really getting covered out here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you could do, obviously the one play touchdowns there. Uh, we already saw that. But, you know, I mean, I, I'm obviously going to choose the one play touchdown, but it's still kind of crazy that these wheel routes are so broken that you're stealing an instant 10 yards in the flat pretty much every time if you want to do that. Like I said, the reality is everybody's going to want to one play touchdown, but it's like you can if you just need a quick 10 yards, you can take that or you can take the home run. Nothing's getting covered here. That's the thing about this play. Against cover three, everything is wide open. Now, you can also have success against man coverage. This is a man cover two. It's going to have the same type of success as the wheel routes. A lot of times don't get, you know, you just can't they, they just don't react really well to the wheel route. This is something that I wouldn't suggest running, like I have an elite tight end here, so that's probably part of the reason that he's beating him up the field. But ultimately, I mean, you can have success with this against even man coverages that typically don't have the type of success. You can have that same success against man cover one, man zero. See right here, that, that A route, he's just he's just beating up on, 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 uh, on uh, Matthew right there, as you can see, he just gets outside one of the best man coverage safeties in the game. Other than that, I mean, a lot of times if these guys don't get pressed, like right there, I don't know, that's a man coverage right there. And he's just, I don't know if he beat the press that badly or if he's just, you know, this is just, like I said, it's a really glitchy play. Pretty much every one of these routes can beat man. You just really have to watch to see which one's getting where. There, the B route looks like he's over it. As we get another, you know, very big play, that's, you know, basically that fade and that speed advantage is going to get that open. But we're having success against a lot of different looks. Here the X route's open. <laughs> As he's just beating that press because of that fade. I mean, it's just it's just insane. Like every route here is like a one-play touchdown. Let's do this again. Like I said, this is a play. They're gonna have to patch this. Look at this. Look how easy this is. Look how easy this is. One play touchdowns all over the field right now. And then obviously with man zero. We're gonna have to do something a little bit different. So let's go ahead and let's pick an Overstorm Brave. Against Man Zero, just block the running back. You're gonna have pretty much the same results. Uh, the A route here is probably still gonna be my best bet because it's my best player. But we got Superstar on Superstar Crime going right now. <laughs> Damn, Waller is such a cheat code. Uh, but those those same routes will get open. I don't find I find that uh, Man Zero definitely covers um, the streaks a lot better. So I wouldn't uh, necessarily say that I would go there, but you can see once again, the receivers, I mean, I don't even have a really good receiver. I don't even know that, I don't even know who Zay Jones is, but you can see man zero, man cover one, man cover two, it doesn't matter. This play gets open against anything. So since we didn't have a one play touchdown for cover four, we might as well go ahead and do that. We're gonna pick the flood. Uh, this is a really good play. And then we're gonna give ourselves a really good test with cover four drop contain. Once again, we don't have Henry Ruggs in the home run spot. He's over here just chilling. Um, I could either put him in a drag or I could, I would think dragging him and blocking Darren Wall would be the best move because ultimately the RB route is a really good check down against cover three and cover four. And I don't want to lose that, but I have that instant check down if I need it, but I don't really need them both in a drag. So we're just going to go over and do it like this. You put the uh, Y route on a streak and the X route here is going to, once you get, usually I try to split those safeties, but for whatever reason, this is one's best to wait till he gets past the strong safety. Uh, which, like I said, it's not Henry Ruggs, so I don't want to hear anybody say how Henry Ruggs is the reason these plays are working or whatever. I'm going to do this again. Roll in the direction of the throw, which is very important if you're on, uh, you know, old gen. And you see, he dropped that? What kind of animation was that? He was wide open. So now we got to do it again. As if we don't get it. Let's go let's do this one more time. Like I said, I'm just waiting for this guy to cross Tyron Matthew because even though he's the best safety in the game, these safeties just don't react very well. We get an easy one play touchdown. And that play there, that's good against pretty much random play. So we're going to pick that one more time just to end this video. This is good to just run just like this because your right side your man beaters, your left side your zone beaters. It's just really that simple. So right here, I mean, I'll take that all day if they give me that. Nice little catch and run to the flat. The drags, obviously the crossers are going to be really good against man. You don't necessarily have a ton of blocking. I mean, I don't even have to put the X route on the streak, but I like to do that. And then you can see right here, like I said, we get that man coverage over there. That was a bad choice. I was supposed to go to the wall or he was way more wide open. If you're going to run this like this against random, motion this guy out because you can see that they are basically running um, 
right on top of each other, which is not what I want. I like the levels. So right here, like I said, we can take that drag all game. The big play is going to be the wire out to the outside. So if, as long as it's the zone coverage. Any zone coverage, this wire out is going to be key. Right there, it looked like a cover four quarters or a, I'm not even sure, but he was open by like a mile. So yeah, that could be, like I said, if it's a zone, it's real simple. Zone, RB route to Y route. Man, watch the, watch the crossers. It's really that simple. So if you don't know pre-snap, once you see if they're following or not, that should be an easy read. Looks like we might have another cover two or something. I'm not really sure, but he's open by a mile once again. I could probably get huge catch and runs if I move the ball over. These two plays are pretty much the only plays you need to run this offense. So I motion this guy out. Just because I don't want them so close together. It's going to be more beneficial to me. To, oh, this looks like it's a cover four. It won't even matter. Although, I got a horrible throw. And still was wide open. So, like I said, this is something that, um, you know, you can run this play as the bread and butter of your offense as, as much as the other play. I mean, it's just, you know, we have really good plays here. Here we got an all-out blitz. And we got this guy wide open again, which maybe I could score to end the video. Nope. I mean, if it was Henry Ruggs, probably. But you can see he gets tackled. But still, very big play. Man or zone, this is a very good play. I got more plays if you guys want to see them. Just hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and I'll probably put out a full scheme of this at a later date. But for right now, it's only going to be on my Patreon, on my Join Now Community tab, and on my ebook. So check them out if you want to see them. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, Mush it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.